In the following video, we're going to practice identifying all the parts of a quadratic function, a quadratic equation, um, without looking at the graph. We're going to be using all of our, I want to say, formulas that we've discovered so far in this process. So in this, we want to identify the following parts. The y-intercept, the axis of symmetry, which remember is an equation, and the x-coordinate of the vertex. And, you know, we'll also find the y-coordinate of the vertex to make sure we're fine with that. Um, when we're identifying the following parts, remember the standard form of a quadratic function is f of x equals ax squared plus or minus bx, you know, plus or minus c. Your quadratic term, the square term first, your linear term next, and your constant. And that's important to know when doing this problem because I'm given f of x equals 2 minus 4x plus x squared. So the first thing I want to do is I want to rewrite this in standard form. So f of x, and remember addition is commutative, so as long as we use the operations in front of the terms as their signs, we can move their positions. So your quadratic term comes first, so that's a positive x squared. Next comes the linear term, which is you know, minus 4x. So we have a minus 4x and negative 4x. And then we have 2, which is a positive 2, so plus 2. So the first thing we want to do in this example is get it into our standard form. This allows us to see our quadratic, our linear, and our constant terms. It helps us be able to identify our a, our b, and our c values better. So the first thing is let's find our y-intercept. And remember, your y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. So, you know, y-intercept, it occurs when x equals 0. And so if you were to plug in 0 to 0 squared, it cancels. You plug in 0 to negative 4x, it cancels. So you're left with positive 2. So your y-intercept occurs where your y value is 2, and we plugged in 0. So the coordinate of the y-intercept is 0, 2. Remember, the shortcut for finding the y-intercept is just identify your c value, your constant, and your x value will be 0. So there, no real work for finding the y-intercept. Now, the axis of symmetry is different. The axis of symmetry, and I'll go ahead and use some maroon with this is and we'll use a o s for axis of symmetry that is an equation x equals negative b over 2 a so what we need to do is we need to identify what our a and our b values are so if i look at my function i have here you know a is the coefficient of x squared so in this a is 1 you know, b is the coefficient of x, so b is negative 4. And when we found our, you know, y-intercept, we found out our c is 2. So I now know a, b, and c. I only need b and a for axis of symmetry. So x equals negative b. So you want the negative of negative 4 over twice a, and a is 1. So negative and negative is positive. 2 times 1 is 2. So the equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals 2. 4 divided by 2. So x equals 2. And so then we're asking, you know, what's the x coordinate of the vertex? Well, the axis of symmetry and the vertex, the x coordinate, are the same. So my x-coordinate of the vertex is 2. Well, it's a vertex. You know, a vertex is a point on the graph. So we're going to, we want the y-coordinate as well. Let's practice finding the y-coordinate of the vertex. So I know the x. I want to find the y. The question is, what do you do? In order to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we learned plug in the x. So my x coordinate of the vertex is 2. 
So to find my y chord in the vertex, I plug it in. So I get 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 2. x squared minus 4x plus 2. So 2 squared is 4. 4 to that negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 plus 2. 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So my y coordinate of the vertex is negative 2. So my x coordinate of the vertex is 2. And the vertex itself is the coordinate 2, negative 2. So do tell the difference. You know, this problem is asking for the x coordinate, but I want to make sure you understand how we find the coordinate of the vertex itself. And that's just plug in your x. And so my x coordinate we said was 2. To find the y coordinate, you plug it in and you get your x and y value. Axis symmetry is an equation, and your y-intercept is just a constant. So let's try one more example um, along these lines. So we're going to skip ahead to example four. Identify the following parts. For the following parts, we're asked to find the y-intercept. We're asked to find the axis of symmetry. And we're asked to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. And like we did before, we are going to find the y-coordinate as well, the whole vertex. So again, when we're doing this, we want to make sure our function is in standard form. f of x equals our quadratic term, ax squared, our linear term, bx, and our constant c. If we look at this, I have f of x equals 3 minus 6x plus x squared. It's not in standard form. So we're going to rewrite it. Our quadratic term is a positive x squared. Our linear term is a negative 6x. Our constant is a positive 3. So if I want to find the y-intercept, we look at our constant, 3. So the y-coordinate of our y-intercept is 3, and the x-coordinate is always 0. So we have our x-intercept of 0, 3. So since our constant is 3, we can find our y-intercept. Now remember, for your axis of symmetry, we use the equation x equals negative b over 2a and that's going to give us our axes of symmetry so i need to go back to my function and i see that a is 1 b is negative 6 and so i use that information to plug into my graph my formula x equals negative b, so I have the negative of negative 6 over twice a, and a is 1. So negative negative is positive, so 6 over 2, x equals 3. So the equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals 3. The x coordinate of the vertex is the same, it's 3. But what if I want to find the whole vertex? What if I want to find the y value as well? Well, we know the x value. We the x value of the vertex. The x coordinate of the vertex is 3, the same as your value in the equation for the axis of symmetry. So to find the y value for the vertex, we plug in the x value. So y equals, the x value is 3, so I get 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 3. x squared minus 6x plus 3. So I get 9, y equals 9 minus 18 plus 3. So 9 minus 18 is negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. So the whole vertex, the actual coordinate of the vertex, is 3, negative 6. The x-coordinate is 3. Our axis of symmetry is x equals 3. And our y-intercept is the coordinate 0, 3. So be sure you understand um, the y-intercept is found by using the constant, your c-value. The equation for the axis of symmetry is used by identifying your a and b values and plugging them in the formula x equals negative b over 2a. Simplify it down, and to get the y value of the vertex, you plug that value in to the function. 
And so that's identifying all the parts of a quadratic function, y-intercept, axis symmetry, x-coordinate, and the vertex itself.